welcome to Gaga Knits. My name's Anita and I'm in South Wales in the UK. And you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Anita Bob. Uh, this episode I had hoped to make it a little bit different as um, we've been quite busy for the last few weeks. We've been to the Royal Welsh and we've been away in our caravan. So I was hoping to do a little bit of vlogging and put that in the episode for a change instead of just being in my craft room. Um, it didn't quite work out as I had hoped because my vlogging skills are not very good and um, although I planned it in my head to be nice for you in a change it didn't really turn out that way so I shall put in the footage I've got and um, there's some photographs of the various sheep from when we went to the Royal Welsh and Martin's in a canoe club that canoe there every, at the Royal Welsh every year and they got him to go into a boat and do a little bit of a demonstration so I'll put the footage in of that because it's quite funny if you're interested sorry if you're not and um, I did tend to repeat myself rather a lot because each time I did a little vlog I showed you how I was getting on with the same projects but it's all a learning curve. I do this for a bit of fun and um, as long as it's still, I still enjoy it, that's the main thing. And at the end, as always, we will have walkies with Charlie when we were away caravanning. Obviously it rained and we went to Pembroke Dock on one of the days that it was raining and we took some footage there, well some photographs. It's a beautiful castle. And the sun came out, it went in, it poured with rain, we got soaking wet, then the sun came out, and then it went in. Well, it was one of those days, so I took some photos as best I could, and I shall put those at the end. Please be kind to me, I tried my best. I will probably go back to filming in my little craft room, where I'm nice and safe and away from people. I really do admire other, other podcasters who go about vlogging. I do feel quite self-conscious. My phone is very old, so I i don't know. It's not quite for me yet, but I will maybe do some more in the future. It's Sunday the 22nd of July. We've had another beautiful day. I have made Sunday lunch at tea time for everybody today. What a good idea in all this weather. A lamb dinner, but still, it was very nice. I have a new um, laptop, which I am filming on. So I'm just doing a little video or vlog to see how well this laptop works. You can see the reflection in my glasses. Buy 199 glasses from Home Bargains. Um, I use these a lot for crafting. I've mainly been working on two projects and I am I'll show you quickly. This is my project bag that I made that I put all my baby projects in. I'm needing to make a few new project bags because I plan lots of projects or there will be lots of projects coming shortly and I need a bag for each one. So I'm doing the flax light but the baby version. I haven't got my webcam on because I just want to see what the volume is like on here. Um, someone mentioned on my last podcast they could hardly hear me. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be better and if not I shall invest in a microphone because I would like everyone to hear me. Sorry. So this is my progress so far. I'm really enjoying knitting this. I have separated for the sleeves it's so cute and um, my stitch count was out when I did all the increases so I had to do a few 
maths calculations on Saturday morning to work out where I'd gone wrong and I just increased a few more times on a couple more rows so back to the right stitch count and um, now I'm just knitting in the round and I'm also working on a shawl that I'm keeping in this this project bag oops, which is from Suffolk Socks and I'm doing the spindrift shawl I had difficulty saying that last time the spindrift and I'm really enjoying this I haven't made any errors so far and um, Lorraine from LNS Crafts podcast put um, also was knitting on this shawl and I did contact her and say well she told me she was knitting on it and I said well let's knit along together but she's finished hers already and I'm just getting into mine so she must knit like the cappers she has so many projects on the go all at one time and they're wonderful really nice and she's just recently done some very nice baby knits so I might copy a few of those as well so they're my main two projects and we are off to I've got a day off tomorrow and we're off to the Royal Welsh um, uh, so that should be fun and then I've got a day in work and then we're off on holidays for a week in the caravan so I hope to get some photos and maybe a little bit of video tomorrow and also when we're away in the caravan I shall try and do a little bit then as well Until Good. Well done, 
it's Tuesday the 24th of July. I've been in work today and I'm wearing my dress. Um, you can't really see. My new look K6262 that I made with the haberdashery fabric. It's quite smart for work. I, uh, it's nice and comfortable. But anyway, tomorrow we are off on our holidays in the caravan and I'm trying to think of projects to take with me to do. Um, my dad and stepmom are coming for the first few days in their motorhome and then we get a couple of days to ourselves and then Harry is with us for the last few. So I've got to think of projects I can do and also spend a lot of time with him. So I'm thinking I will probably take my cross stitch to try and finish that off. The one I was doing here with the elf. Um, I don't know how well this is coming up. Because I'm filming on my camera. I'm trying to do a few different things this time. Mix it up a bit and try a few different things out and see what works and what doesn't work. I've got a new laptop but I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. I did record on it yesterday. But my teeth look really funny so I don't know. And so I'm I'm going to definitely take that. I might take my flax light that I've been making. I've been knitting along on this quite nicely. I did loads yesterday. We went to Bilth Wells to the Royal Welsh and I didn't drive so I knitted round and round so I knitted from there down so I've nearly got the whole of the body. I think I've got about another inch to do. I'm quite a, I'm quite a slow knitter but it was good because I sat in the van. We went in Martin's van and I was knitting along and looking out of the window at the lovely scenery going by. So I'm, I think I might just take everything and then I can decide what I want to work on. And the other one is the um, spins drift shawl that I am knitting away on too, and that's nice and easy. Although the rows get longer and longer, but I can pick that up and put it down even if I'm in the middle of a row. And when we've got Harry, once he's in bed, I'll be pretty tired, so I won't really want to concentrate on anything. But then the flax light, you don't need to concentrate either, so both good projects. I was watching um, Christina of Gussets and Gussets and Go Days, or Gusset and Go Day, Gussets and Go Days, I think. Um, her latest episode and she was saying that she was in a magazine in Simply Sewing and she uh, sewed the dress pattern that comes with this month's episode and then she had to review in the magazine so this morning on the way to work I popped into Tesco to get that magazine because I thought it'd be nice to see what she had to say and it was in my hand and I was going to buy it and then I saw the Simply Sewing magazine that had this pattern. Which I thought was much nicer, so I decided to buy that magazine instead. And it had this pattern with it. So you got two for the same price. And here's the magazine. They're quite annoying these magazines because they're always in cellophane and you can't actually have a little flick through. But I'm trying to keep it now so I can take it with me on my holiday and have a look and see. Ooh, nice things for me to make in there. Plus my wool came, my yarn from Miranda May. Beautiful. beautiful colours, lovely autumn colours and she also put in some little stitch markers. Oh, 
I have no idea if this is focusing, but they're very pretty. Look at that one. So cute. So I might cake that up and make something. I did want to do the vertebrae, baby vertebrae. But I'm thinking an open cardigan. Jodie's due in end of November might not be the best, so I might look for another pattern instead. We'll see. So that's where I'm at so far. Our holidays. We're in our caravan. We've been here for a few days and we've had brilliant weather and now it's raining. I've been up for the shower, that's why I'm all wet. And Martin's just taken Charlie out, and she's wet, and now he's going in the shower. <laughs> so I'm taking this opportunity to quickly record. We are having a lovely time. And Harry is being dropped off today, this evening. They're coming for a meal and then Harry's going to stay a few days. So I do hope it brightens up. Um, I just quickly wanted to show you what I've been working on while I've been here and some purchases I got. Uh, I've got, not very grammatical. We went into Narbuth on Friday and every Friday there's a craft, um, there's a hall where they do a craft fair and they are really, it's a proper craft fair, proper handmade, lovely items. And one lady had a flock of sheep and she made goat cheese from, from them and Martin bought some of that. I did try it, I have to say, I'm not a fan. And she also dyed some yarn, so I was really pleased to see that. And I shall show you her yarn. Here it is. I don't know how well it shows on the camera. And here is her little card. Anything that doesn't show up, I will add when I get home. Wendy's Woolies. And it just says 70% wool and 25% polyamide sock yarn. But it's her own sheep, so I don't know what sheep she's got. I did take lots of photos of sheep when we went to, um, I keep wanting to say Wonderwool, but we went to the Royal Welsh to see the different kinds of sheep. Because I haven't, I don't think I've knitted with blue-faced Leicester, and they had their, those there, so that was... Um, that was good, so I got to meet some. And then while we were wandering around the town of Narbuth, I went into a lovely little shop and she sold all sort of knick-knack, uh, well not knick-knacks, um, things for not dressmaking, but it was just all sorts of lovely things. And her friend dyes yarn and she had some of her friend's yarn there. And it's this. It was such a lovely colour and it's fire and ice yarn and it says ice dyed on the wood burner and it's a one-off hank and this is 80% superwash, oh BF up blue face Leicester and 20% nylon. I wonder if I have knitted with blue face Leicester before. So anyway, I got this as well because that was beautiful and in that same shop I bought some there. some little buttons because I want to make a blouse and keep looking out because it is so windy and rainy I don't know if you can see them sparkling but some little buttons I want to make a little blouse I have got a 1940s inspired blouse I think it's the simplicity ones that do sorry about that my battery was flat so I've charged it up a little bit. It's a little bit later on in the day. Uh, it's looking like it's drying up a bit. The sun is coming out every now and then, so we're going to nip out and do a bit of shopping in a little while. Um, so I was just showing you my purchases, and I just showed you the little buttons um, and I am hoping to make a blouse vintage or retro simplicity pattern blouse. I'll find out the pattern when I get home and put those on it. And I have been working on a few projects. I finished my little Christmas elf. Here he is. So I just need to get a little frame for him. 
when I get home and I'm going to enter him in Ellie's Christmas Craft Along from Craft House Magic and with Craft House Magic. Now I've mentioned her, I'm working on my Spin to Drift Shawl by Helen Stewart with the Craft House Magic yarn. Here comes the rain again. And I'm loving this pattern. It's really simple and I think it's the only pattern I've ever done where my stitch count is correct and the rows are getting longer and longer as they do in shawls. You can hear the wind whistling around the caravan and so the wind, the rows are getting longer and longer and yet I'm still making the right stitch count at the end so I'm doing well with that and hopefully that will be finished soon and I can get on with some new projects. Bye.